In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quiz using Google Forms. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you have to do is go to your browser, then make sure you've signed in with your Google account. You'll find that on the top right over here. And once that's done, you've got to search for forms.google.com. So search for this. So over here you can decide if you want to use a template. So they have a few educational templates. If you click on template gallery over here, then scroll down. Here you'll find all the templates which are related to education. And if you want to use them, you can just click on it. But in this video, I'll show you how to create one from scratch. So for that, you'll have to click on blank quiz, which is over here. So now we've reached the form and we can start editing. The first thing we'll do is add a title and a description. So just double click on the title and enter anything you want. After that, you can add a description if you want over here. And once this is done, we can start adding questions to the form. So as you can see, one question is already over here. And to edit this, just click on it once and now type in the question that you want to ask. So first, if you want to ask the name, you can just type in name. And now as you can see, the type of answer which we'll get is a short answer. So we can change this from here. If you just click on this drop down menu, you can see all the options we have. So based on the question you ask, you can decide what type of answer you expect. So right now, since we're asking the name, we can just keep short answer. But later in the video, I'll show you how to use the other options like paragraph, multiple choice, etc. Then you can make this question required by just clicking on this bar over here. So this means that a person must answer this question to submit the form. Now that we're done with the first question, let's add another one. So to do this, just click on the plus button over here and this is to add a question. Now again, we can type in the question over here. And this time the question is, have you subscribed? So since the options are only yes or no, we should select multiple choice. So now to add the options, you can just click on option one over here and type in yes. And then just click on add option below. And no has automatically come. Then again, you can make the question required. And now one thing you can do to make this quiz auto grading is add an answer key to all the questions. So just click on answer key, which is over here. And then just select the right answer. So I'll select yes. And then I can assign points for this question. So I can keep it five points. And then click on done. So now as you can see, a tick has come next to yes. Since this is the correct answer we've chosen and the points for this is five points, which is given over here. Now I'll quickly add a couple of more questions to show you how it works. So again, click on the plus button, which is over here. After that, type in the question. For this question, I've asked languages that you speak. And again, this has automatically changed to check boxes since this question can have multiple answers. So to add the options, just click on option one over here, and then you can type in the option. After that, to add another one, click on add option. And the same way, you can continue this process and add more options. Once you've added all the options, if you want to add other and give them an option to type it in, you can just select add other over here. And now they'll be able to type in another language. Again, you can set the right answer for this question. Just click on answer key and here select the correct answers. Then you can add the points over here and click on done. And now, as you can see, the total points of the quiz has changed to 10. Now I'll quickly add one last question. So I'll click on the plus button over here. Then type in the question. Now for this question, I've asked to write the odd numbers from one to 10. And for this, I'll want a paragraph answer. 
So I'll click on the drop down menu and select paragraph. And now they can answer in a paragraph. But one thing you should know is that you can't add correct answers for paragraph questions. So now that we've added all the questions, let's see how this form looks. So to do this, just click on the preview icon, which is over here. And this is how the form looks to someone who's filling it in. So as you can see, each question has a red asterisk next to it, which means that the question is required. So for now, I've just filled in this form and I'll click on submit. And let's see if the score has come. So if I click on view score, as you can see, for the first question, it's showing 5 on 5 and the second, it's showing 0 out of 5 since I picked the wrong answer. So this is how to make the form auto grading. Now there are a few more things that you should know. So first I'll go to settings and show you the important ones. So here there are quite a few things that you can decide. So one of them is when to release grades. They have one option that's immediately and the other option is later after you've manually reviewed it. Then you can decide if the person responding can see the questions they answered correctly, incorrectly, and if they can see the points they got for each question. Then under responses, just click on this arrow, and here you can decide if you want to collect email addresses of the respondents. So if you want to, just click on this bar over here. So in presentation, there's one important setting, which is to shuffle the question order. And this will basically change the order of the questions for each person that's filling in this form. So to do this, just select this option over here. And there's one more setting which I forgot to show you under responses and it's limiting a person to one response. So it's this option over here and to enable it, just click on this bar. And now it's done. So these were basically all of the important settings and now there are only two things which are left to do. One is to share the form with others and the second thing is to check the responses. So first let's see how to share the form with others. So to do this, click on send, which is on the top right over here. And here, there are a few ways to send it. So the first option is via email. So here you can enter all of the email IDs under two. After that, you can change the subject line, then the message. And if you want to include the form, you can select this box over here. After that, you can share this form as a link as well. Just click on the second option, which is over here. And here is the link to the form. So if you want to shorten the URL, just click on shorten URL and click on copy. And now you can share this link with others and they'll be able to fill in the form. So the last thing to do is check the responses of the form. And to do this, just click on the responses tab that's over here. And here you can see all of the responses in three ways. First is a summary of all the responses. So here you'll see a lot of graphs and charts. After that, you can see it question by question. So just click on this tab over here. And now for each question, you can see all the answers. And the third way is individually. So here you can see how each person filled in this form. But now, there's one last way to see all the responses and that's linking the responses to a spreadsheet. So to do this, just click on link to sheets, which is over here. After that, select create a new spreadsheet and click on create. And as you can see, the response has come here with the score. And one thing I like is that this auto updates when someone fills in the form. So overall, you can see all of the responses in a systematic order. So this is basically how to create a quiz in Google Forms. And if you want to know how to share the responses with others or some add-ons which you can add, then check out these videos over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.